course the debut album Cause of Shipwreck is coming out this month but actually you have been around almost a decade now so uh, how did it all get started in 2012? Yeah well yeah I mean back in 2012 uh, Zora and myself were uh, at a concert of Slash in uh, in the Heineken Music Hall here in Holland and a band called Hillstorm was in there, uh, was a supporting act. And Zora and I were basically doing uh, dark gothic pop music at that time, uh, totally, totally different from what we do now. Um, and we saw a Hillstorm perform and Zora was like, uh, I want to do that, man. <laughs> it's, it, it just had, had so much power and it was, uh, yeah, it was very impressive. And so back in 2012, we actually stopped with the project we were uh, doing at that time and we founded Black Briar. So shortly after, uh, the idea came into our heads to start uh, like a hard rock metal band. Um, we found our guitarist, Bart, and uh, together with him, we found the rest of the band and formed Black Briar, um, which, as you mentioned, was all back in 2012. And we fooled around for like three years, didn't know what we wanted to do. Um, yeah, it was very uncomfortable, very uh, hard learning curve. And um, after three years, we wrote Until Eternity, which uh, basically was from that point on forward, we knew that this was the direction we wanted to go and move forward in. Um, so yeah, in all honesty, we personally, and we are a band since 2012 but it's been like serious for maybe five years now uh so yeah for us it feels more as if we uh, are around for only five years because before that it was just drinking beer and having fun and nothing too serious uh to be honest uh yeah so that's basically the start of blackbriar shortly after we knew what we wanted to do uh, after writing Until Eternity, we, we uh, thought it was time for a first EP. So uh, after Until Eternity, we wrote the rest of the songs and uh, yeah, released our first EP uh, uh, with the help of a crowdfunding campaign, which was successful back, uh, back then. And yeah, there it all started for us, uh, honestly. More people got interested. Uh, the band grew uh, fan base wise. Um, yeah, we felt like we ha finally had something that was uh, worth working hard for and um, that people actually enjoyed listening to. So that's, in, in, in a nutshell, the start of Black Briar. Yeah, you can't really get more uh, like classic start of band story than starting a band at the concert. Yeah. Or a yeah, bar indeed. before a concert or after. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously we were all in music at that time uh, doing projects i mean we didn't even know our current band members back then so we actually met them trying to found this band so um yeah everybody has like this this uh, musical uh, journey that they went through and ended up in this band right now yeah also with black Briar, there's uh, been three eps actually so uh why the long wait for the debut album well, first and foremost, uh, it was a financial thing, you know, uh, doing a debut album or an album is just financially demanding. So it's very expensive and uh, time consuming. And because we felt like we finally had something we, uh, yeah, we all agreed upon and something that felt comfortable and nice actually to play and to write, um, we decided we wanted to make sure our music got out there as soon as possible. So we decided to do an EP because it was just four or five songs, which was less expensive um, and easier to, uh, yeah, to get out there and release it as soon as possible. So, and because of that whole process, we felt like for the second one, uh, basically the same, you know, uh, we did our first EP. It was kind of successful. We uh, reached all our own goals and, yeah, we had everything we had hoped for at least. And we felt like, again, we needed to get our new music out there as soon as possible. So 
the second EP came uh, shortly after that. And it goes the same for the third EP. So, yeah. And doing this debut album is more, um, is something we felt like we were ready for now and we uh, dared to try uh, financially uh, why, uh, speaking. So, yeah, uh, it's been a long process getting here. But, um, yeah, we're now at a point where we feel like uh, Blackbriar deserves a debut album with, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, the, the fans will like it uh, as much as we do. Yeah, you didn't uh, maybe pick the easiest time to release a debut album. At least it's interesting time. And and you said that it's a, a lot of work at the moment. So how is this experience to put out such an important album in a time like this? Yeah, well, honestly, this time is not necessarily a, 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 a bad uh, timing. Something like that. So... Uh, in, in fact, it gave us more room to work on the album and um, to make sure that we were focused on details and that we were able to yeah, finish up on the whole thing. Because if we would have been touring or maybe do other stuff, maybe it wasn't as uh, didn't, uh, how do you call it? Maybe it should have should have not went as fast as it did now. So basically, if the COVID thing didn't exist, we might had to postpone the debut album for another year or so. Uh, so yes, we have been working on it longer than the whole COVID thing is uh, is currently in. But um, yeah, I think it's a, actually a perfect timing for us because yeah, it gave us the room to do it. It was a bit hard to make it happen with the regulations and recording by yourself instead of with the whole band and stuff like that but um yeah it's it's been uh, it's been good for us so far yeah uh well debut albums are sometimes uh more like a collection of of songs so uh when and how were these uh, songs written well we normally work uh like sora she writes song uh lyric wise and the melody and then she sends it to us and which is on uh how do you call it uh, it's not necessarily the traditional way of writing music uh, normally or many bands start with their music and then the singer or whoever writes the lyrics uh, writes on the song uh, so that's untraditional but for this album we basically just wrote whatever came to zora's mind in this case and we started working on that song and went to Joost van den Broek in the studio. And we did that for each and every song of the album. So it's not like a concept album or uh, uh, like a theme album whatsoever. It's just like you mentioned, a um, yeah, a, an album full of songs that, that are just yeah, written all <laughs> after each other, you know, uh, yeah, like I said, it's not a, a concept thing, uh, themes that are uh, reoccurring or stuff like that. It's all, yeah, what we felt like sounded cool and nice at that time. So, yeah, that's basically the writing process for us at this point. Yeah, you already mentioned the challenges in the recording. So how was the experience for you? Well, the... Um, the main thing was all the, the fun and cozy times you have in the studio as a band, you know, with everybody in the studio and enjoying your time together. That's something that didn't happen this time, obviously. So every, every person that needed to record their part went to the studio alone, didn't even came very close to Yoast or whatever. It was all very much uh, apart from each other. So that resulted in maybe a bit less um, a connection with each other or something, uh, but it didn't affect the end result at all. So it was, like I said, a little bit less cozy, but still a very nice uh, process. And yeah, we all, we all do this for the end result. So it doesn't matter how long it takes or who does it or uh, how... Um, uh, how uh, how long it takes as long as it's 
getting done. And that's all that matters in the end. So, and we, finally, for luckily we managed pretty easy actually. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was a nice time to be in the studio again, even during the COVID situation. Yeah, yeah, I said a uh, busy time for you. So how easy or more like how difficult it is at the moment to plan ahead things like, uh, well, the publishing the album and uh, and everything after that? Um, well, like planning the album itself wasn't an issue at all. And also, like I said, the recording process hasn't been a huge issue. Uh, it's mainly everything that, goes after you know uh, playing live doing uh, touring stuff like that it's that's impossible at this stage um, and honestly for the rest it, it all uh, yeah it all works very well for us currently so all the marketing and the promotions uh, stuff